In this lesson, we will learn about the basics of CSS selectors. That is, previously, we selected the title of the books using the h3 and the a tag. That is, here we have our h3, that is the header element, in which we have our link, that is the a tag. To select it with CSS selectors, we just type out h3 and inside of that, we want the a tag like this. Now, let's say what we want to do is select our paragraph instead. That is the price. So if I just bring up its code, you can see we have the paragraph with a class of price color. And to select a web element based on its class, we just use its class, that is the price color with a dot. That is if I want to select this paragraph with price color, what I will do instead is just use a dot because we are selecting a class and the class name that is price underscore color like this and to get its text we can just use the pseudo selector that is to colons text like this and now if i run our scraper we will get the price selected so if you want to select a web element based on its class we use the dot and there will be times where you will find some web elements with an id instead here you can see we have a div element with a id of messages so if we want to select a web element based on an id instead we can just use the hash instead of the dot that is here i want to select a web element based on its id so i'll use a hash and then the id given to it that is messages for this case so that's how we select web elements based on their tag names their class names or their id with css selectors